Our editor at large, Ahmed Al Barai, joins us now live on set. Ahmed, so you heard uh, Salman Al Ansari talking there. Um, do you think that this move in any way could be further destabilizing for the region. We mentioned that, uh, Salman al Ansari mentioned there the fact that Qatar will now have to capitulate, essentially, and see to the demands of Saudi Arabia. Could that have a destabilizing influence? The unconceivable irony in Salman's speech for some observers is that both Qatar and Saudi Arabia used to support the same rebel groups in Syria. They're both partners, strategic allies in the war in Yemen. The, uh, the generals of Qatar have been recently rewarded by the king of uh, Saudi Arabia and the emirs of United Arab Emirates for their efforts in the war uh, against terror in Yemen. Now, out of a sudden, uh, Qatar became the supporter, the main funder of terrorism, and Saudi Arabia is trying to uh, curb these links between Qatar and the terrorist organization, which is to some uh, extent unconceivable, ununderstandable, because still they used to be partners, as I told you. Now, what's happening? I believe this step is going to uh, increase the pressure of Saudi Arabia against Qatar. Uh, Mohammed bin Salman is a hardliner. He is not going to take any step backward. He is going to go further. That depends on the support he is going to take from the American administration alongside the support of the other GCC countries. They've already gone so far with their boycotting strategy. They have a complete embargo and blockade on Qatar. The only power in the region that is supporting Qatar is Turkey. There have been like a number a big number of uh, cargoes going from Turkey with food and other stuff to the people there. Otherwise, if this continues, I believe that uh, we are not going to see uh, any stabilized region in the short term, not even in the midterm. Well, of course, Iran have also sent food to Qatar, which I assume exacerbates the situation for the Qataris and further isolates them from their GCC neighbors. Now, how do you see this? going forward in the in the coming weeks of course uh, king salman uh, crown prince salman will be in position from now onward do you think we could see a distinct change in policy or will he just toughen the stance that saudi arabia already has recently mohammed bin salman the new a crown prince has pledged has vowed to take the battle into Iran. And he's the most hardliner in the family of Saud against Iran. He believes that uh, this is going to uh, help the Trump administration getting their strategy right in the region. They're going to help them funding their war on terror from the one hand. On the other hand, they're going to have, I mean, the Gulf, mainly uh, the Saudi Arabia family, is going to support Trump in his policy against Iran. But the, uh, the other paradox that, is, that cannot be deconstructed is the United Arab Emirates, their allies, they have stronger bonds with Iran, the same as Oman, the other country who has stronger bonds with Iran. They didn't cut any relations with these two countries, and they did sever the relations with Qatar. That's the, the paradox that they could not explain. The other point is, so far, the, the, minister, the, the, uh, the minister of Foreign Affairs in Saudi Arabia, he didn't prepare the list of charges. They believe that Qatar should be doing in order to alleviate the siege and the uh, taking um, escalating measures against the Qatar. So, so far they don't have exactly the indictment or the list of charges they need Qatar to, to, to uh, take itself away from them. And that's why it is not clear what kind of strategy they, they do have to the region. They've already, I mean the coalition led by Saudi Arabia, they had a big failure in Yemen, they didn't. Uh, they weren't uh, able to push the Houthis from the capital Sana'a for more than uh, two years. Now it's a completely devastated country. There have been crimes against humanity, according to international uh, humanitarian. Uh, agencies speaking about the Saudi killing victims and civilians uh, in Sinai. So far, the strategy doesn't seem to be uh, having the holistic image of the whole region. That's why I believe we could have more reckless uh, measures in the coming few days. We wait and see what happens. Ahmed Al-Burai, thank you as always. <laughs>